Hey guys, I'm Renisha Monaco, and today we're at the Distillery District in Toronto celebrating an incredible 45-year radio career of Mike Cooper. Congratulations again on 45 years. I can't believe it. What do you love most about working in radio? I think we laugh more before 9 o'clock than most people laugh in a month. More things go on in that studio in four hours, and all we do is laugh or find ways to make people laugh. And that's one thing I think I'm going to miss is getting up every morning at the crack of stupid, which is around four o'clock, and not laugh before nine o'clock. Now, I'm going to sleep in a little, but not very much. I like getting up early anyway, but I am going to miss the laughter and the camaraderie that we've had with Aaron and I for the past 10 years. Your work husband is finally retiring. I know it must be bittersweet, but what was it like working with Mike on the morning show? It was incredible. Uh, it's it's really hard tonight. Bittersweet is exactly the word, Renisha, because it's uh, how do you thank somebody for 10 of the best years of your life? Every day you come in and um, you never know uh, how he's going to do it, but you're always going to laugh. And uh, he's got a very uh, big brotherly type of sense about him. He just makes you feel like you're one of the family all the time. What you hear on the radio is what you uh, get in person. He's just a genuine, funny man, and I've been fortunate to be a, on the receiving end of his generosity many, many times. And what were some of your fondest memories of Mike? <laughs> My fondest memories of Mike have to do with the fact that he never cared as much about what people thought or what the ramifications of anything were going to be. He just went with his heart, led with his heart all the time, and picked up the pieces later. And most of the time, it all worked out for the best. He's an outrageously wonderful sense of humor, a laugh that everybody loves. Coop and I, every morning, either yell at each other, make fun of each other, try to outdo each other with some of the outrageous things that we say. We can't necessarily say it on the air, but you know what, we have a ton of fun behind the scenes and I'm, and I'm really gonna miss that. What I miss is that we are 100% live and immediate. If we were to do this again, I would screw up because I'm not really good at doing things twice. I'm really good at doing things once right. You must be so proud of Mike's night. I most certainly am. 45 years, it's, it's a remarkable feat. But I mean, we, we started back in grade 10 together and I used to listen to him on uh, Radio West Hill. I'm gonna take care of my tender morsel of passion fruit. That's my wife, Debbie. I, she's a childhood sweetheart of mine. We met uh, back in grade school. She invited me to a Sadie Hawkins dance. Thank God, I tell you, she asked me, or I'd still be single today. But we have been together all this time. I've taken care of millions of people on the radio. Now it's time to take care of just one. So I'm going to take care of my tender morsel of passion fruit, Debbie, for the rest of her life. Mike is in the process of building me a water, um, art studio. And so I'll be busy in there. And he... <laughs> and uh, Mike loves to build. He could build you a house. So I'm sure he's going to be doing a lot of that. Can you leave us with some final words for everyone who's listened to you over the years? Well, I just want to thank you for one, just bearing with me for so long. I've had so many emails, truly thousands of emails. It, you know, that was quite humbling. I had no idea. I knew there were people out there, but I just didn't know how many people I actually affected in their timeline. See, I, I worked in the 70s, I worked in the 80s, uh, I worked in the 90s in radio. Uh, you know, 2000 and, and of course CHFI for the past 10, but I've affected so many generations of people and so that particular era, like maybe the 70s, was a good time for one person or one family and they remember me from that era or that radio station and then another from the 80s, another from the 90s and I have all these people I kind of forgot about that have been following me all these many years. That's why I got so many emails, because I've affected so many people for so long. What an incredible evening full of so much love and celebration. Mike, you have a ton of people who are going to miss you dearly, and we wish you all the best. We love you. Bye-bye. From the Distillery District in Toronto, I'm Renisha Monaco.